family. Hello, Hello my you. Occupy Chicago family. I love you so much. I love, I love you so much. much. That the best thing I can do. That the best thing I can do. Is try to give you an idea. Is try to give you an idea. Of what I think we need. Of what I think we need. To be successful. To be successful. I was about to walk away. I was about to walk away. And in all honesty, I don't know if I can regardless. And in all honesty, I don't know if I can regardless. But there was a letter that I put forth to some people. But there was a letter that I put forth to some people. That, that expressed some concerns. That expressed some concerns. They asked me to read it. They asked me to read it. At GA. At GA. I felt like it wasn't the appropriate form. I felt like it wasn't the appropriate form. So I put together... So I put together some proposals. Some proposals. That some people are going to help present. That some people are going to help present. That address these issues. That address these issues. That I think are about our foundation. That I think are about our foundation. Legal and lawful occupation got movement guidelines. Legal and lawful occupation movement guidelines. In the order of time, I'm going to ask for no human mic. Okay. Just trying to save our minutes. Okay. In order to prevent police violence and arrests of our brothers and sisters of Occupy Chicago, we must remain lawful and peaceful, nonviolent and educated. When we break the law, such as marching on the street without a permit to do so, it leaves us vulnerable. Arrest should be the last resort. It is not something that I believe should be bragged about, taken pride in, and glorious. Anyone who is here and is interested in becoming arrested and wishes to push that agenda, which is not in line with the ideals of Occupy Chicago's current peaceful and lawful Occupy movement, puts us in danger. I have a list here that are line items in this proposal. One. In order to properly protect our brothers and sisters before we engage in lawful and peace sorry, <laughs> before we engage in lawful and peaceful actions, we must be prepared for the worst case scenario. Before actions take place, we must have in place properly trained medical professionals and security on location at both headquarters and while on marches 24 hours a day. Until all committees have provided the tech team, specifically Andrew or Todd.
information specifically so we can get online. Legal health and safety announcements, I believe, should be done at every GA. This is to provide a clear understanding of standards in which we have been adopted as, legal and a, as a legal and peaceful occupation movement. This allows for consistent and clear communication to the thousands that will come. We are about transparency and communication, unlike the system that is failing us. Thank you, Kelly.